Naive Bayes' classification works by assuming that the observations in each response class are samples from probability distributions, a separate distribution for each class. If we knew those probability distributions, we could determine the probability of a new observation occurring at its given location under the assumption that it belonged to a particular class. That is, if this observation was yellow, what is the probability of it occurring here? Bayes' theorem of conditional probabilities gives a way to reverse this and calculate the probability that the observation comes from the given class. That is, given that this observation is here, what is the probability that it is yellow? We could calculate this probability for each class, then classify the observation according to which class was the most likely. So, how do we determine the probability distributions? The naive assumption in naive Bayes is that each variable is independent in each response class. That's almost certainly not true, but it often works anyway, and it greatly simplifies the calculations. Fitting a normal distribution in each variable independently involves simply calculating the mean and standard deviation for each combination of class and variable. Performing predictions requires only determining the probability of the observation and applying the formula from Bayes' theorem. Because we are assuming the distributions are independent in each predictor, the probability is simply the product of the probabilities in each variable. Note that one benefit of this probabilistic approach is that probabilities give some indication of how clear the classification is. Also, because the predictions are based on the statistical distribution of all the observations, rather than individual observations, they are somewhat robust to noise in the training data.